hello, 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 everybody. I am Sifu James, self-defense practitioner and instructor, fifth level in the Bojuka system. I am back again today. I'm definitely going to go in on some things, specifically uh, things that people have been using to uh, to kind of discredit self-defense. First off, the eyes are the weakest point and the weakest area on the human anatomy. All right. Um, you get dust in your eyes, you gotta close your eyes, you can't see, it's irritating. Somebody slap you in the eye with a, a finger strike by accident or a pluck by accident, little babies grab at your eyes, you move away. Everyone instinctively flinches from an eye strike. Everyone moves their head away from anything that's coming towards their eyes. If you're in a sandstorm, you're gonna cover your eyes because you don't want sand in your eyes. You can't see, you don't know which way you're going. Well, the same thing applies in self-defense and in combat. If I can't see you, I can't hurt you. I can't strike you. I can't do any damage to you. Why is it today that people are getting into this thing of saying that eye strikes will not affect them? Especially, yes, I'm calling you guys out, the MMA fighters. Guys, there's a reason why eye strikes are not allowed in the octagon. And mind you, you know anything about my history, I was around during the birth of the UFC. I was security for four UFCs, okay? So you can look me up and you'll know that that's true. But anyway, the eye strike is something that's not allowed and you can't, listen, can't pressure test eye strikes and groin strikes. It's not gonna happen. And you can train to defend against them, but you can't pressure test going back and forth and hitting each other full blast in the eye or in the groin, okay? Why is this an issue? Where does it come from? Uh, basically, a lot of MMA schools, uh, they pattern themselves and fashion themselves as being invincible. They want to be known as invincible combatants. That you can't do anything against my guillotine or my uh, <laughs> um, uh, Americana. And in self-defense, we teach that the eyes are the number one place to strike, period. Name one animal on the planet, not an insect, an animal that can withstand an eye strike. Even against sharks, people are taught to stick the shark in the eye or a bear in the eye or you know, spray bear spray in the bear's eyes. All animals, mammal and other, will fight against having their eye taken out because it's the weakest area on their anatomy. So, schools are taught, oh, uh, you know, It'll work against anybody. If you go for my eyes, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna submit you. Okay. If I'm going for your eyes, I have the intention of doing damage on your eyes. Same thing with your groin. If I'm going for your groin, I have the intention of doing damage to your groin. It's, it's not a thing of, oh well, you know, we put on the groin cup and we go back and forth and play around and stress test. How can you stress test anything that is crucial and critical in regards to damage for your eyes or your groin? It's ridiculous. So, all you people out there who really want to learn true self-defense, you can DM me, I will go over with you these things. But today I'm gonna to show you how we implement these things. Sensei Oliver, thank you. So, the eyes here, if you look, don't have true protection. They have what's called eyelids. All right, God in his humor placed them under the brow, but they're still affected if you touch, if you poke, if you prod, if you rub, they're still affected. And they, you, you, you know, it's a very vulnerable area, and that's why we, we go for the eyes, okay? Um, you know, you discount women, elderly people, and, and anybody who can't defend themselves truthfully if they can't go for the eyes, you discount them. So, you know, 80 years old, you know, the only person I know who, who's capable of doing that is, is uh, you know, Shidoshi Ron Van Cleef, and shout out to him, he does, you know, jujitsu, and uh, still, in his 80s, he's still rolling, and that's great, but a lot of people are incapable of rolling, or well, what if you're handicapped? You're not supposed to have the right to defend yourself? It's ridiculous. So anyway, the eyes are here. If he comes and grabs me, okay, real simple, I just go for his eyes. Now, how we train it is, we just place a finger here. We don't stick it in. But if, if in reality this was actually happening, I push against his eye. See what happens? It's a natural response. Pushing against his eye, he's going to do that. And then the rest is me fi finishing him off. Okay? So that's 
how we look at that. For training, we'll place it here. So uh, a lot of times, well, let's go over this first. He'll throw a punch, okay? And I'll go here and I'll place the eye. I'll do the same to him. See, he goes here and he places the, the finger on the eye. So that's a good way to get comfortable with it. We have to undo all the damage that was done to you as a child when you were told not to point. And oh, you'll take his eye out and be careful, okay? Now you have to go to that point of going for the eye, spraying things in someone's eyes if you're in a home invasion and you're locked in the bathroom. You got all of that stuff that says, beware, do not get in the eyes, okay? So how we work the two finger eye strike is, he holds this, I take, if this was his eye, I'm coming here. Okay, I'm just flicking that right there, but I'm not gonna do that to him, I'm gonna do that to this. So all I'm doing is, if you look at my hand, these two fingers, I'm coming and popping right here for training. Uh, no, no, because uh, we're going to switch off. But yeah, I just come right here. So all I'm doing, if you watch the motion, that's it. Two finger eye strike. Bow, right across the side of the eye. Right here. Okay? Boom. See? Boom. Okay? And I'm whipping it. I'm whipping it. I'm not going, ah, psh. I'm just flicking it out. Okay? Flicking it out. Okay? The same thing would be with show with the slap, and the same thing would be with the palm. So a good training method is he'll hit it three times. Good, then we switch, then I'll hit it three times, okay? And that's easy, you can hang a piece of paper and you can do that with paper as well, okay? So that's that, all right? Making it a little quicker. Now we've come to the groin, okay? So in the Bojuka system, the first area of strike, of target is the eyes, okay? We go for the eyes and then we go for the groin second. So in essence, if this guy's a grappler and he comes in to grapple me, first thing I'm going for is the eyes. If he moves my hand, I'm going for his groin. If he moves my hand, I'm going for his eyes. So I'm keeping him off balance constantly by doing that. I'm not going to grapple someone that has seven or ten years experience in grappling. I'm damn sure not going to be grappling nobody on concrete or asphalt. Or in a nightclub or a bar or where there's stuff that can destroy me just as much as this person grappling me or multiple assailants. And mind you, a lot of jujitsu guys will be like, well, you can't fight multiple assailants. That's a lie. But they have to say that because the thing is, is that they're training themselves to get that submission, and that takes time. So in the meantime, in between time, you got this guy, he's over there, this guy over there, and they're all jumping on this person who's doing submission holds. Yeah, if it's one-on-one, -on -one, more than likely you are going to do great. I had five years of jujitsu experience. I understood after that to not grapple. 